All right, so I've got the uh, setup hooked up. So now we can actually look at what the iMac is and you can see me on the camera. So my setup basically is um, I'm, I'm recording on my uh, MacBook Pro. I'm using the uh, FaceTime camera to show kind of this. And I'm using um, an Elgato, uh, uh, Elgato product called Game Catcher, Game Catcher HD to capture the output from USB-C from the uh, new iMac Pro. You can see the cable comes out there. Um, on the back and it goes around and plugs into the where's my game capture? here it is game capture HD from Elgato so you can actually see uh, in the screen behind me um, the uh, uh, it's actually prompting uh, for me to pair this mouse with it so I'll follow the instructions it shows that says to, on the back of the mouse uh, turn it on so I did that done Oh, the mouse is working now. And I'll press the next arrow. There we go. So now we got the languages to go next. I don't need to transfer any information. I'm going to skip signing in with my Apple ID at this point. Put in my password and all that kind of stuff. I want to really uh, just want to look at uh, basic functionality in this. So I'll put in my account. Continue on this. And uh, once I get in, I'm very curious about kind of all the new security features associated with it. Do the express setup. There we go. All right, so it's done. It's set up. Let's go into um, and look at the startup disk. Uh, it still has target disk mode. Ability, which I was curious if you could still do target disk mode. So that is uh, uh, quite interesting. All right, so let me quit this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart and I'm gonna go into the uh, recovery partition. So I'll hold down uh, Command R while I restart. Hopefully the, uh, the Game Capture HD will pick it up, which I suspect that it will. So now I'm in the recovery partition and um, it asked me to select the language. It was kind of strange when I had the uh, something plugged in the USB-C port, it didn't look like it was letting me go to the recovery partition, but I could have been not holding the keys at the right time, but I, I think there's something to do with, uh, I'll have to investigate that further. Okay, ah, I'm in the recovery partition. So now let's see if there's a new utility. There it is, startup security utility. It says authentication needed. You need to authenticate as administrator to change this boot sequence. So uh, I pull it up and it asks for my password. That is interesting. I've not seen that before on the recovery partition. So let me go ahead and give my password. So then we have these full security, um, medium security, no security, uh, disallow booting from external media, allow booting from external media. So these are just your straightforward settings. Well, that's interesting. In order to enable for full security, you must select a disk to boot, and then security information for that drive must be downloaded from Apple. Wow, okay, this is interesting. All right. I'm not sure what that entailed, but let me go back and put on full security. And it says select startup disk. You must select a disk to boot and then security. Oh, I see. I bet I don't have Wi-Fi enabled. Let me look. Yep, it is on. But let me just click on restart and see what happens. All right, so uh, I... I booted back in and this time I left my Game Capture HD plugged in, which basically is the USB-C to HDMI. And it still, when I held the option key down, did, allow, did not allow me to go into uh, the recovery partition. Um, when, I, when I disconnected it, uh, disconnected the um, device plugged into the USB-C port, I could then hold the option key down. It showed the startup disk when I hit Command R, it booted into recovery partition. So there definitely is, looks like there's some protection there. So let me go back in and I can see if it allows me to uh, 
Now go back to full security. Yeah, it's at full security now.